Hello and welcome to my channel ACR MRCP. I am Dr. Aparajita Roy and in today's video, I am going to take you through my professional journey from India to the UK. This has been one of the most requested videos by my subscribers. Also in this video, I am going to share with you some pro tips that will help you to smoothen your journey if you are making a switch from India to the UK. So please keep watching this video till the end. I was born and brought up in Kolkata. I went to Nobunananda High School uh, followed by Gokhil Memorial Girls High School. I did my MBBS from Neil Rathun Sharkar Medical College in Kolkata, which is a government medical college. I completed my MBBS as the second highest scorer of my batch and I had honours marks in surgery, forensic medicine, ENT and community medicine. Now why am I telling you this? This is because when I applied for a specialty training post in diabetes and endocrinology, my honours marks, that is my undergraduate achievements, helped me score top marks in the self-assessment score in this category. So, pro tip number one. Those of you who are still doing MBBS and want to move to the UK following your MBBS, work hard during your undergraduate days. Try and achieve prizes or honours marks in undergraduate level so that this gives a rock solid foundation to whatever post you are applying for in the UK. Following MBBS, my NEET PG rank was 132 and I got into medicine in VMMC and Savdarjang Hospital in New Delhi. My MD medicine degree was immensely helpful in building up a professional career in the UK. It gave me a rock solid clinical experience to begin my professional journey in the NHS. It gave me research experience in the form of thesis. It gave me a teaching experience. Also, MD Medicine got me a high score in the postgraduate section of self-assessment score in specialty training application. So, pro tip number two, structured medicine training is very, very important if you want to make a switch from India to the UK and want to develop a long-term career in the NHS. Post MBBS, if you are not keen on the NEET PG route, think about IMT training in the UK. This gives you the advantage of entering the training program in the UK earlier than post MRCP, which would make substantial specialty training applications much easier. However, if you are not keen on IMT training and following MBBS, you are waiting to complete all steps of MRCP, getting into MD medicine is a very good idea as it has multiple benefits. Now coming back to my journey. Following MD Medicine, I did senior residency in Neurology for one year in Savdarjang Hospital. However, I quickly realized that Neurology was really not my forte. I quickly course corrected and took up a senior residency post in Diabetes and Endocrinology and this was also my first step to prove my commitment towards Diabetes and Endocrinology as a specialty. Commitment to specialty is a very serious evaluating criteria in any candidate's job application in the UK. A consistency in a specific specialty in a candidate's professional journey is extremely important and must be reflected well in the candidate's CV. So, pro tip number three, streamline your clinical experience, your research, publication, courses and conferences towards a specific specialty in which you want to further your career in the UK. Try to do this early in your career, right from your MBBS days, if you are sure that you want to do a specific specialty like medicine or surgery. The sooner you streamline your career in a so chosen specialty, the better. I completed both steps of MRCP in India, following which I was struggling to get a PACES seat. So if you are also in a similar situation where you are struggling to get a PACES seat, please watch this video so that you can get important insight as to how you can maximize your chances of getting a PACES seat in the next diet. So as I was struggling to get a PACES seat, I got to know about the MTI program in the UK. This was a very good opportunity for me to further my career in the UK. It helped me to prepare and pass PACES. I gained a lot of experience of working in the UK. It helped me to understand the social and cultural aspects of life in the UK and also most importantly helped me to achieve competencies required to apply for specialty training like audit, QIP, etc. So pro tip number four, do not underestimate the importance of a non-training job in the UK. Use it to your advantage to achieve competencies that you couldn't have achieved in your home country like audit and QIP. Try to streamline these projects in your chosen specialty 
again to prove your commitment towards a specific specialty. Following the MTI program, I handpicked the role of a senior clinical fellow in the renowned diabetic foot clinic at King's College Hospital in London. This was an extremely enriching experience for me as I got to learn so much about diabetic foot firsthand from world renowned clinicians. Also, I continued my CV building with a QIP in the diabetic foot clinic. I made an international oral presentation on the topic of multidisciplinary care in the diabetic foot patients. After all this hard work, I applied for specialty training in diabetes and endocrinology and I have been successful in my interview and have secured a national training number in this specialty in London. So the last and final pro tip will be set a goal and work hard towards achieving that goal. Ask yourself, why do you want to come and work in the UK? Be it a CSER application that you are striving towards or IMT training application or specialty training application, do not let anyone tell you that you can't do it. This is a myth that international doctors cannot get into training in big deaneries like London or Manchester. That is not true. If you work hard towards your goal and if you persevere, you will be able to achieve whatever you wanted to. Be focused in achieving the required competencies and start working hard on your e-portfolio. Also, please do not underestimate the competition ratios in the specialty. Remember, in your home country, you are only competing against your peers who have had a similar background or similar clinical experience. Whereas in the UK, you are competing with not only UK graduates, but also graduates from all over the world who are striving towards IMT training or specialty training. So do not compare your achievement with other candidates. Cut out all the noise. Set your goal and work hard towards achieving that. That's it for today guys. I hope this video was useful in giving you some important insight as to how to smoothen your journey from your home country to the UK. Please let me know in the comment section below how you found this video and also let me know what other topics you would want me to make videos on. Till then, stay safe, keep studying and ace your MRCP.